Hey everyone, Sandra Vail here, Homesteading Ways. And today I'm kind of doing an experimental video and uh, letting you guys in on the results. I broke one of my cardinal rules last night and I didn't do dishes after supper. I cleaned up most of the kitchen and as you can see here, I stacked up the dishes for morning. We ate kind of late and I was just too tired and... Uh, I was already washing stuff on the stove, so I just, you know, didn't want to deal with it. But anyhow, um, it got me thinking about um, being off-grid or um, even just maybe in some kind of situation where you run out of dish soap. Uh, what can you use to wash your dishes that will actually get them clean? And I remember years ago my dad telling me that um, they used to use bars of Fels naphtha or something the equivalent thereof. I had showed him my bar of Fels naphtha when I started doing my own laundry soap and he just chuckled because he remembered his mom using it too and uh, he said uh, that they would just take off little pieces of the bar and use that for dishes. But anyhow I wanted to try it out and see if it would actually work. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Let's check it out. Okay, this is where I grate up my soap for my laundry soap when I'm, uh, you know, making laundry detergent. So I'm just going to grind a little bit up here and use it for the wash water. I'm assuming you don't need very much. It is a pretty powerful soap. Okay, got a good amount of water going in there. I'm putting about half of that in there. Just gonna squish it around here. And yes, I always wear gloves when I do dishes. There's several reasons why I do that. One of them is because as you can see, I like my water steaming hot. This happens to come out of the faucet super hot. But other places I've lived in, it didn't. So I would add boiling water to it. I just feel like it really helps to cut grease and get your dishes, you know, really clean. So the soap is melting pretty good. It smells nice. There's no suds, as you can see. And we'll see how it goes. Also with gloves, I can throw knives in the bottom of the sink and not worry about cutting myself. Whoa. So I'm even gonna put that in there. If you don't wear gloves, I would never, ever put anything sharp in the sink. I'd wash it one piece at a time. So, I'll just wash these two bowls up real quick. There's some silverware in the bottom I'm not going to worry about right yet. But let's check this out. Now, what I ended up making last night was, um, I don't know... Something I made up, actually. Um, I used ring bologna cut up and noodles and peppers and onions. And I mixed it all with some um, canned tomatoes I had. And it actually turned out really nice. But there is grease in there, especially from the bologna. So we'll see how this goes. It's stuck on a little bit, so I'm thinking I might let it soak. this here with a little extra soap and we'll let it sit for a couple of minutes there's a pan here that I don't think should be you know uh, with anything stuck. Now this is where I originally fried up my bologna. I cut it into pieces and fried it up. So there's definitely grease in this pan. Let's give it a whirl and see how it turns out. This is one of those um, non-stick pans but with that ceramic as opposed to Teflon. And I like it a lot. I use it for eggs just about every morning. Otherwise, I have my stainless steel copper bottom pot and pan set. 
I pieced it together over the years through yard sales and stuff. It heats really evenly. It's a lot better than the non-stick stuff. Well, it looks clean. And I'm not, I'm not feeling any greasy anything. There's some grease down here, it feels like. We'll put that in there and let it go, and then I'm going to finish up the silverware and stuff in here, and then get back to that big pot, and we'll see how that turns out. Alrighty, here's the moment of truth. This is the pot. It sat for about, I don't know, 5-10 minutes. It came out really clean. And I'm not feeling any grease whatsoever. Here's that first pan. And no, it's squeaky clean. Wooden spoon. There's the soup ladle. Now these are some drinking glasses. They look fine, but what I'm looking for is to see if there's any kind of film on there. Because you know soap will sometimes give you that film. And I think I see a little on here. I don't I don't feel it, but something doesn't look clear. I know when I use a Fells naphtha for laundry, I rinse everything in cold water and it rinses beautifully. But I don't rinse my dishes in cold water. So I'm wondering if I just dry it, if whatever it is I'm seeing. Yeah, now I don't see any of that, what looked to be a film. So maybe it just comes off as you dry it, or I don't know. But it looks like a clear, beautiful glass. You know, I don't see anything on there now. Um, you know, coffee cup came out nice. The utensils don't look as shiny. So again, I'm wondering if there's a film or something on there. It's not grease, because it's not slippery. There, it looks better already. So maybe that's the key. You just got to make sure you dry them afterwards in case there is some kind of film on there but I think it turned out great this little experiment because you know then you only have to buy one product if that's what you want to do if you're not you know really big on having all those suds in your sink and you know maybe you live in a small area or or whatever and you just want to use less product go ahead and try the Fells naphtha yourself I know there are other um, laundry soaps out there like Zote is one of them um, Go ahead and try that as well and see how it works for you. But overall, I'm pretty happy about it. It worked great. So I guess some of the old ways really are still better, aren't they? Anyhow, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time. I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe. That would be awesome. It was nice talking to you. And you take care.